it's literally impossible to stay up to date on all the tools and updates that are coming out constantly when it comes to AI content creation and filmmaking. That is, of course, until you started watching this video, because this is basically going to be a highlight reel of all the best content creation tools and updates that we've seen over the last few months. And make sure you watch every single second of this video, because some of these things flew under the radar and not many people know about them, but they can have a massive impact on your life and business if you use them properly. Starting off with Kling AI, most of us know this as one of the highest quality image to video generation tools, especially with their new 1.6 model. However, what a lot of people might not realize is that Kling has been updated with a lot of other really cool features as well. For example, if I take my model right here and I also take an image of a certain outfit right here, Using Kling's virtual try-on, I can upload my model here with the outfit here, and now we can put that outfit onto the model. Then I can bring the image to life, so I have something like this. Speaking of virtual try-on, Pika Art has added some really awesome updates recently as well. For example, let's say I'm shopping around on Amazon and I come across a really stylish outfit like this. What I can do is come down here to ingredients, and so here I'm going to add this picture of me then I'm going to add another ingredient, which is the picture of this outfit. Then I can just type in a man wearing a SpongeBob outfit and hit generate. And now it's going to basically mix those ingredients together. And so this is what I ended up with right here. And as we can see, it did put the outfit on, but it changed me into a completely separate person. And so because it is using such limited information in terms of you know these two pictures, I think it will have a really hard time maintaining a consistent character for the most part, but there still could be some pretty cool use cases for this. Here's another one that I tried right here, which as we can see, just zooms into the character. But again, it's changed me into a completely separate person. You might have also seen other effects like this on social media where people are, you know, squishing things and doing all kinds of strange effects like this. All of those videos are done here in Pika Effects. We can see all of these different effects, inflate it, crumble, decapitate, crush it, explode it, and so on. As far as I'm aware, Pika is the only tool that has these particular effects. Moving on to Runway, we saw plenty of attention around Runway's update with Act 1, but it's strange that nobody mentioned the fact that the most important thing here is that you can now upload vertical aspect ratio. One of the biggest reasons I never used Runway in the past was because it only lets you use a horizontal aspect ratio, which is a huge problem if you're trying to create TikTok videos, Instagram reels, or YouTube shorts. But now I can take this vertical picture of me riding a hoverboard through town as one does. I'll go ahead and click generate. One cool thing about Runway is that it is super fast, far faster than any of the other video generation tools. And now we have a video of me on my hoverboard. Another really cool thing to point out here is that Runway allows you to upload three images here. Most of us are familiar with, you know, uploading a starting image and an end frame image. But with Runway, you can actually have three images rather than just two. So let's say I created this video for TikTok, but I also want to have a YouTube version. So what I can do here is click expand video. And after bringing in the video I just made, I'll click generate. And now Runway is going to fill in the margins on both sides. And now I have a full horizontal video that I can use on YouTube. Watch out, Paul Blart. Moving on to Google, most of us have seen the sample clips from the new VO2. And as of right now, I'm still on the wait list. However, what most people don't know is if we come to the left-hand corner right here, there is a whole arsenal of other really awesome tools that haven't really been talked about. For example, if we come into Music FX, this allows you to generate any type of music that you want, very similar to Suno. For example, I'll just type in fantasy orchestra dubstep and let's see what we get with that. Okay, not bad, but what's cool here is that this also creates a little drop down in each one of these words. So now I can filter it even further. So if I were to select choir, for example, let's hit generate. Okay. 
Okay, so that in itself is pretty awesome, but here's the really cool part, this Music FX DJ. This allows me to control each individual prompt, and so let's just take a listen. Okay, so you get the idea. You can literally type in all of the prompts here and control each individual prompt on how prominent you want that prompt to be, which obviously gives you complete flexibility over the exact type of music that you wanna create. Now, while we're talking about Google, most people are familiar with Notebook LM. So here, I'm just gonna click Add Source, come down to YouTube and drop in the link to one of my YouTube videos. And most people are aware that you can simply generate a podcast episode by clicking this button here. And after just a few minutes, it's generated a 20 minute podcast. Let's just listen to a few seconds of this. Ever wish you could make those, uh, those really cool AI videos you see like everywhere online these days for mm. YouTube or TikTok or even, you know, for an AI influencer. Oh yeah. Well, get this, you can, and you don't need a Hollywood budget or a computer science degree. It's true. AI video generation tools are getting easier and easier to use. That's kind of what we're going to be diving deep into today. We're talking tech stacks. Have you heard of this? Uh huh. These are combinations of different tools that streamline the whole video making process. Yes. So you might have one tool that's great for creating images, another one that's great for animation, and another that makes sure the video looks great in high definition. Yeah, it's like having a specialized team, each member with a specific role. Okay. So... I'm just now starting to wrap my head around AI, so like... Okay, so that's pretty crazy in itself, but to make it even more crazy than that, you can now switch on this interactive mode and start engaging in this conversation. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click this button. And now I'm just gonna come down and click join, and I'm gonna start asking these AI bots some questions and see what they say. Ever wish you could make those uh, those really cool AI videos you see like everywhere online these days? Yeah. Oh, our listeners got something to share. Let's hear it. Yeah, so I can see that you have to use all these different tools for these tech stacks, but like, what if I don't have a budget for all of those tools? Oh, yeah, that's a super valid can't. Definitely. It's easy to get caught up in all the cool tools. It's easy to need like everything, right? But the truth is, you can still make great videos on a budget. Absolutely, and that's one thing I love about this video that we're looking at. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Creator Secrets actually breaks down a bunch of tech stacks. Right. And they have a whole section for budget-friendly options. Oh, perfect, so we'll get to that. Yeah, and we can talk about some free alternatives. That's key. Okay, so where were we? Oh, yeah, the tech stacks. Right. Let's talk about tech stacks. So generating a podcast was not necessarily that useful in my opinion, but now that you can insert yourself into these conversations and you can bring up nuanced conversation, nuanced topics and nuanced points that really bring out the value of these conversations, that really changes the dynamic of what you can potentially do with these types of podcasts. So as of right now, this is completely free to use. Have fun, give it a try. By the way, if you want to see how I track the top performing niches and videos so that I always know what kind of niches are performing the best, I have all that information in the Creator Secrets community on school, along with all the prompts, tools, and resources that you need to create these kind of videos, in addition to the monetization strategies that will turn your views into money. The link for that will be down in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Moving on to Hyla's newest update, aka Minimax, they just introduced introduced this new model, which is apparently really good at animating this 2D illustration style of content. 
And so this could be super useful for creators that are doing, you know, different types of 2D animation and anime style animation and all of those kinds of things. Particularly if you're doing this style of anime content, there are a lot of creators who are going super viral on Instagram and TikTok doing this type of thing. As we can see here, this creator is getting quite a lot of views, creating all kinds of really cool anime style content. Speaking of viral content, this is a tool that I've been working with the developer and this has had a lot of really cool updates recently. Number one, it will show you all of the best performing AI content on TikTok and Instagram. And if I come to the categories here, there are a lot of new niche categories that you can jump into these niche categories and see specifically what are the best performing videos. If I click luxury, for example, I'll filter this to the last 30 days. And now I can see over the last 30 days, these are the highest performing luxury style videos. Okay, so if I was in the luxury niche, I could jump in here and instantly know what are the best performing luxury style videos that I can create as well, which I actually have a full demonstration on this tool. And so if you wanna check out the full demo on this, I will have the link for that down in the description below. Now to finish off, I'm gonna show you some crazy awesome tools that have sort of flown under the radar, but I think these are really cool. Starting off with this tool right here, which is a total game changer. And so what I'm doing right here is basically bringing in some of the most popular topics that are being talked about on Instagram. For example, if I come back to the previous tool that I talked about, and right here I have it sorted for the last seven days showing you know, the influencers that are talking about different things related to AI. And so these are obviously the most popular topics that people are interested in. And so here I'm gonna go ahead and just pop open this video on Instagram. Then I'm gonna copy the URL and from there, I'm just going to paste the URL into this tool. And now we can see that it's going to start analyzing this video and it's going to understand what it's talking about. Now, I already have that video over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this one. But now if I come into YouTube, I came across this video right here from Waveform Clips, which is talking about the art of storytelling and how to increase viewer retention. So what I'm gonna do is pop this open. And again, I'm just going to grab the link out of the URL and then I'll just paste that YouTube video into here. And so once again, it's gonna start analyzing this YouTube video. And from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and start dropping all of those Instagram videos into this group right here. So I'll just go ahead and zoom out a bit and I'll just continue to drop all of these in here like so. And so now I have all of the most popular topics being talked about on Instagram inside of this group. However, I left this one out because I'm gonna use this one for something else that I'll show you in just a second here. And now from here, I'm gonna come click this AI chat and this is gonna bring open a little chat window right here. I'll go ahead and size that up a little bit and move it over here. And so now all I have to do is I'm going to connect these sources to this chat. I'll just drag it and connect it like so. This one, same thing. Oops, connect it like so. And then for this entire group is going to be treated as a single source. So I'll go ahead and connect that one like that. And now from here, I can start engaging in this chat and asking it questions and telling it to do things with this source material. So in this case, I'm just going to ask it here. I'll say, do you understand the three sources? And let's just see if it actually understands what it's looking at here. Okay, so now we can see it's telling me that this is what that YouTube video is about. The second source is what that Instagram video is about. And then we can see that it has the entire group uh, as the third source right there. So now what I told it to do is use the strategies talked about in source one and communicate the information similar to source two, discussing all the tools that are talked about in source three. I'll go ahead and submit that and let's see what we get. Okay, so now we can see that it's listing out, you know, these particular things and it's giving me a little script along with each tool to go along with that. And so now I'm going to say do it again, but give me a full YouTube script. And let's see what it comes up with here. 
Okay, and so as we can see here, it's given me a full YouTube script that I can just start recording based on these, you know, super popular topics that are obviously trendy in the AI world right now. So as you might have guessed, this is what I used to create the video that you're watching right now. And so just to read a little snippet of this right here, it's saying, first up, we have Clean AI's virtual try on. Imagine this, you're shopping online and you can see exactly how you look in different outfits without even leaving your house. Sounds like sci-fi, right? Well, Clean AI makes it reality just upload your photo, pick your favorite designer clothes, and watch it as it transforms into a video showing every angle. It's like having a personal stylist right on your screen. So that's super awesome. Makes my research and scripting process super fast, but obviously you can use this for anything that you want. So for example, if I just said, create me a newsletter following the same uh, rules that I mentioned, earlier. And so now I can take this and plug this into my newsletter. So obviously this is only one use case out of thousands for this tool. It's kind of like ChatGPT mixed with Notebook LM, but obviously using this drag and drop interface where you can easily plug in all of your source material right here, connect it exactly how you want to connect it and how you want the system to understand it. So this is something that's pretty new and it's starting to gain a little bit of traction, but I think it's really flown under the radar for the most part. After talking to the developers of this tool, they did give me an affiliate link and a discount code for this so that you can save a little bit of money if you are interested in this tool. I will of course have the link for this down in the description as well. And finally moving on to HeyGen, which allows you to create a super accurate AI avatar of yourself. I've recently started using this on my Instagram account. For example, if we play this video right here, this version of me on the bottom explaining the video is not actually me. It's just my clone from HeyGen presenting this information. In fact, HeyGen is starting to get so good that I've even been starting to test it on YouTube. And as some of you may have guessed, this entire video was actually created with HeyGen. Now I will say that the text to speech is still very robotic but overall, I think it looks really impressive considering the fact that I'm not even in my studio and instead I'm upstairs and simply uploading the audio to HeyGen. Now, that might be scary to some content creators, but to me, it seems really cool that we can sort of step back and become the director of our social media channels rather than being the performers. I will also have an affiliate link for HeyGen down in the description below if you want to become an AI avatar yourself. And don't forget, all of these things are really cool, but at the end of the day, if you can't make money with AI content, then there really is no point. So if you wanna learn all of the best methods and strategies to monetize your content, be be sure to check out the Creator Secrets community on school. But that's going to be it for this one, and I will see you in the next video.